Hi everybody, this is Kefren. Today I'm going to show you how to improve your performance or FPS in the They Are Building Games. Uh, a lot of people ask me questions and they want me to create a video for this game. The problem is you don't have any, uh, you don't have a lot of option to uh, to change in this game right now. It's an early access game, and uh, yeah, it can be pain in the ass. First of all, I saw a lot of people with uh, a laptop uh, having issue to run this game. Make sure that your laptop is in high performance mode, not balance, okay? Because you don't care about your battery. Normally, you will just plug in the wall and uh, you will play to your game. Because this game demands a lot of CPU uh, processing. So you want to make sure that your laptop is not decreasing the CPU uh, megahertz or gigahertz um, to, to get like the best performance that you, you can because, uh, yeah, it can be tricky on the laptop. So make sure everything is at high performance. Second question that I received, where is the config file? The config file is in documents, my game, they are billion. It's a small text file. Again here, nothing new if you compare with the uh, setting inside of the game. So you got trio graphic option, your res, uh, vsync, and your earths. So that's about it. But I will show you in the game what to change because this one is not very user friendly. So in the game, First of all, make sure that you're running the game in full screen. I did some tests and benchmarking for Windows and full borderless window. I lost a lot of FPS, so make sure that you're full screen uh, right now in the game, okay? The game is currently in early access, so it's not 100% optimized. For sure, they will release a lot of different patches. They already did a couple of patches to, to, to solve some problem and fix, but uh, yeah, that's about it. Also, VSync. Make sure that this one is unchecked. You don't want input lag. And make sure that your frequency will match your monitor. So if you have a 144 Hz monitor, it should match. If you have a 60, match it with 60. After that, the tree graphic option. <laughs> Not a lot to do over there. First of all, texture quality. Uh, this one touch your VRAM on your video card. So if you have, if you just have one gig of VRAM on your card, make sure that you're running at low. If you have two gig, running at medium, and if you have more than two gig, running at high. Okay. After that, shader and grass. Shader will touch your uh, GPU, and grass will touch your CPU. So sometimes people have a really good GPU but a bad CPU because it's old or. Uh, uh, you have a good CPU but a bad GPU, so this one you can pro you can like change it depending on your computer. So for shader quality, if you have a low end uh, GPU or integrated uh, graphic card, uh, an old mobile graphic card, uh, for sure put it at that low right now if you want to run your game smoothly. Uh, this game you have a lot of stuff to manage, so you ma you need to make sure that you're getting your 60 FPS. Really important. And for the grass quality, I saw a huge improvement over there. I saw a couple of i5 uh, kind of bottlenecking. Uh, uh, when I say bottlenecking in i5, it's more uh, generation 2 and 3. Uh, 4 looks okay to me. Uh, but for sure, uh, if you don't have like a good i7 or a good i5 uh, latest generation, put this one at medium or even low if it's uh, an old processor. I don't know, like uh, some... FX uh, 8530 from AMD, stuff like that. So just to make sure that you're running the best that you can and you can get the uh, best image quality for your computer. So that's about it uh, right now. Uh, not a lot of stuff to do. <laughs> so just to make sure that you update uh, your graphic card to uh, drivers. And uh, yeah, well, I'm looking forward to see new uh, patch and new improvement by the company. It's currently... a an early access they just released the game in december so for sure we will have some new patch it will improve it and probably they will put more uh, graphic setting inside of it like uh, sh uh not shitters but anti-aliasing and stuff like that because uh, you kind of need to manage that and yeah that's about it if you need help uh you have some trouble with the game post me your rig so gpu cpu and ram and i will try to help you the best that i can in the youtube comment section Thank you very much, guys. Peace.